So last year we did this video talking about some best practices for directing airflow inside your PC case. In it, Jack talked mostly about positive and negative pressure and the pros and cons of each, so if you haven't seen it, it's a great crash course on the subject. Today, we're going a little more in depth and talking about some more factors you might want to consider, namely, what you should be looking for in a case fan. And to do that, we're going to be using Corsair's new magnetic levitation fans, because magnetic levitation is cool and a buzzword. This is PC Case Airflow Episode 2. It's been more than a year since Episode 1, but at least it hasn't been as long as the wait for Half-Life 3, so... So there are tons and tons of different fans out there, but for the most part, there are two main factors that play into what kind of cooling it provides. Static pressure and airflow. Now, airflow is pretty much what it sounds like. It's the straight up volume of air the fan is able to push. This is measured in cubic feet per minute. Fans optimized for max airflow do best when there's a bit of space in front of the fan as the column of air goes straight out from the fan. For this reason, it's not recommended to mount them on a radiator or in the front of your case where you have a bunch of hard drives there because it obstructs that airflow. What does do well for radiators is a static pressure optimized fan. Static pressure fans don't push as great a volume of air, but they do push air with greater force. This is why they're better for placing right up against radiators or against a stack of hard drives because those present heavy resistance against the air coming from the fan. The more force that air is pushed with, the more it can make its way through the heatsink fins. Now the main difference between an airflow optimized fan and a static pressure optimized one is the blade design. Static pressure fans will have flatter blades, so if you look straight at them, the gaps between blades is small. Airflow fans have a sharper angle, so looking straight at them, the gaps between the blades is large. But Riley, I hear you ask, can't you just get greater pressure or airflow by spinning the blade faster, you idiot? Now, 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 no need for name calling, you are correct. Take a high airflow fan, increase its RPM or revolutions per minute, and you'll get more static pressure and vice versa with static pressure and airflow. But you'll also get a lot more noise. So normally, you'll either have fans that are really good for either static pressure or airflow, or fans that are kind of okay at both. But you won't often get fans that have great airflow and great pressure, because as I said, they have to spin faster, which creates noise. And I forgot to mention spinning at higher RPMs increases resistance, which can shorten the life of your fans. And that's why Corsair's relatively new ML fans are kind of cool. ML stands for magnetic levitation, and in the case of these fans, that refers to the type of bearing used. Most case fans use either a sleeve bearing, which is basically two lubricated surfaces sliding against each other, or a ball bearing, which uses tiny spheres to prevent friction, or some variant of one of those. The interesting thing about magnetic levitation bearings is there's no friction, because the fan and the fan hub don't touch at all, thanks to magnets. Now what that means is that you can get pretty nice static pressure and airflow while remaining quieter than fans with other types of ball bearings. And that's what Corsair has gone for with these. They have very competitive pressure and airflow capabilities compared to even optimized fans, especially at their max RPM. I conducted some noise testing with four fractal Venturi GP120s because we had four of them laying around here in the studio. I didn't pick those on purpose. These are static pressure optimized fans with FDB bearings, a type of sleeve bearing. At their max speed of 1800 RPM, I saw a noise delta of about 10.5 decibels compared to off using our sound meter. With the Corsair ML fans at the same RPM, I saw a delta of about 7.5 decibels, so they ran a bit quieter. At around 1200 RPM, these guys were nearly silent. The other thing about having a magnetic bearing is no friction doesn't just mean less noise, it also means faster speeds. The ML fans have a wide RPM range from 400 to 2400, so you'll definitely want to use these with a PWM header so you can make use of its capabilities. Of course, when they're maxed out at 2400 RPM, they're still pretty loud because any fan spinning fast enough is going to make a lot of noise. Now the thing about these is they're still pretty new and that fanciness comes with a bit of a premium price tag. But as far as general purpose fans go, the ML line is pretty good. That's it for this video guys, thanks for watching. You can click here to watch more videos. Follow us on social media over here, that's Twitter by the way. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. I'll see you later. But I'm gonna take these with me before I go because they're magnetic and I like magnets.